We ask him the most high to continue to show his mercy on our leader, Prophet Muhammad. His household and companions to the law of accountability. Today, we are discussing the independence given to us in 1996 by the colonial masters, to be precise, Britain. Today, Nigeria is 63 years old after the independence. Now, the question is, are we really independent? Each and every one should go and answer that. But the reality is that there is achievement, there are successes, there is progress, there is development, and counts so many. When you look at our number, we are 220 million based on some data. That is a progress. Human resources. We have development in terms of infrastructure. Buildings are there. Schools are there. So many universities. So many hospitals. So many places of businesses. All these are progress and development that was not there even before. It is now existing. Even Abuja it says itself was not existing. These are progress. You can count as many as possible. Now I said in the Arabic version, we as Muslims, our values, what we see to be value, may differ from somebody who doesn't bear our ideology. And we are not apologizing. We are not. Islam is a religion that has given freedom to everybody to worship what he wants. A Muslim cannot compel a non-Muslim anywhere in the globe to be a Muslim. But a Muslim should have joy in mentioning his own value. What is value as far as his own culture is concerned? Among the criminality that has happened to the Ummah from the hand of colonial masters is the destruction of Sharia built by Usman bin Fodio in this country of ours and some other countries that are nearby. We have been governed by the Quran and the Sunnah in all areas of endeavor, including our politics, during the time of Muhammad and Fodio. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it is the colonial masters with no apology that has used all sorts of sophisticated gadgets and weapons to kill and to, and, and to erase and to eliminate the Sharia system of governance in this country. That is a setback. It's a setback as far as the value of a Muslim is concerned. We cannot celebrate that. It's a setback. Now, when you go to other areas of endeavor, the area of insecurity, the area of poverty, people are suffering, serious suffering in this nation. Some cannot afford what to eat. And that's why you find the labor going up and down, strike or no strike. Reality is that strike cannot solve our problem. This is a bitter truth that must be said. Experiences have shown that strike is not the way out. People should sit down properly and make analysis of way out to Nigerians. It's never a strike. It can never be. It can never be. In fact, it is the common man that suffer more when there is strike. And after it, there will be no meaningful success or progress. The insecurity is prevailing. You cannot deny this. People who cannot even afford to go to their farms. Ten kilometers from some states, they cannot go. And where we are the majority, the kidnapping also has become an institution today in this nation where a Muslim kidnap a Muslim in an area where the Muslims are the majority. It tells you that there is fitna. We have offended Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah is torturing us. The lead and the led, the young and the aged and everybody. So a day of this nature should be a day we should sit down properly and see whether really we are progressing. Then you talk of trust that used to exist 
it is no more there except for few. Even among the leaders. And look at the system of governance. There is stability of democracy since 1999 till date. Does that stability bring us out of dangers and difficulties and crises and problems? Yes, we must appreciate what Allah has blessed us with a little. But to be frank with you, we are in problem. Because even the system itself is commercialized. The process of a leader to emerge in this country today has been commercialized. You will never see in any area of any part of this nation where a responsible, ideal person. People will now say, no, it is that person we want him to lead us. We don't need his cover. We know his CV is clean. We want, him, we want him to be our governor and noble. We don't want him to make any campaign. We are going to make the campaign. Have you come across any in any of the states? We are deceiving ourselves. That gentleman will gather money. Friends and associates and, and relatives will gather money. It's a business. He will sponsor, he will spend, he will give. He will give even all a mass and everybody will collect. Can he imagine a governor? Is he mad that he will not pay back what he has spent and gain from it? So the, the democratic way of electing leaders has been commercialized. More dangerously, when he imagines the governor or the president, he can fire anybody. There is no court that he can be taken to. He having, he's having immunity. So he will kill everybody with corruption. And nothing can you do about him. You are going to wait for the next eight years. If he did not run away of the country, or else he has the money, he has gathered the powers, and he can drag with anybody for the next eight years. This is the situation we are living in the country. You may say otherwise, but these are realities on ground. You don't need to quote any verse. Now, until we, we got it right, you continue to suffer in this nation with all the resources Allah has blessed us with. The area of immunity should be removed completely, absolutely. We don't deserve that in this nation. If other nations deserve it, not in Nigeria. Not in Nigeria. That's why masses are dying of hunger and poverty. That's why so many crises are coming up. So many strikes, so many this, because the corruption has taken over. Corruption everywhere. It's just that corruption is not documented in Nigeria, but it's all over accepted, except for few. And Allah warned in the Quran, Surah Al-Ma'ida. He, 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 he stipulated the punishment of corruption on us. Those who are fighting Allah and his messenger, spreading corruption on, on us, their recompense is to be killed, to be crucified, to be jailed so that others will learn a lesson. But unfortunately, it's not like that in our nation. Even genuine cases you see being dragged for a decade. A decade. So which independence are you discussing? Are you discussing crises that are there by your door, at your home, in your schools, in your offices? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to count all of us among those who really love this country, Nigeria. We must love Nigeria because our predecessors in Islam, they love their countries and their cities. Even with all that is going on of disbelief. If you, if you take Rasulullah as an example, you know he was persecuted and maltreated and brutalized by Meccan leaders. He has to flee to Medina, he has to migrate to Medina. With all that in Medina, he was praying hard for Mecca. Because of the love he has for Mecca. How many Nigerians love Nigeria like that? How many of our leaders love Nigeria like that? A sincere prayer for Mecca that we have Allah has recorded in the Quran for us to listen to. His grandfather, Nabi Ibrahim, he prayed for Mecca. In fact, he prayed. He made the prayer to be exclusively for those who are believers. Allah said, no, we are extending it to everybody there. How many of our leaders are having this in mind? Even most of the du'a are contracted du'a. Contracted supplications. 
until we are sincere, Allah will never make any change in this nation. It's not a prayer against us or member, no. It is a reality. And it's Allah's sunnah. If we are not ready to change, Allah will never change the situation. It is one the lead and the lead. Everybody has understand that, look, look, we need to change our ways. We need to take another measure. Then Allah will change it for us. But the way things are going, there is, there is no any hope. Uh, or first we say new hope, yes? New hope. With changes in attitude. Attitudinal change. As Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala an yanfani bima qult wa yanfakum bima samitum rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaban nar inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna 'ala an-nabi ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu 'alayhi wa sallimu taslima allahumma salli 'ala muhammad wa 'ala ali muhammad kama sallaita 'ala ibrahim wa 'ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid allahumma barik 'ala muhammad wa 'ala ali muhammad kama barakta 'ala ibrahim wa 'ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid qumu ila salatikum ya rahmakumullah